So I made a not so new discovery this week that I've been thinking about trying to attempt to build, um, but haven't done it for the longest time. And I don't know about you, but when I create a new project for say a client or just something I'm working on, I tend to do things in a repetitive fashion. And that usually means creating a root project folder, creating folders inside that, keep, keep that trend going. The same is true for files. So, um, for my agency, we want to kind of have a consistent way of doing things. So what I've come up with is a way to use the automator app on uh, Macintosh. Sorry, Windows users, this isn't for you, but I'm sure there's a way to do the same thing. Um, but essentially I use the app to create a script that runs other scripts that creates these folders and accepts input from me based on what I want to call the project and so on and so forth. What I'm going to show you in the screencast is pretty simple. Um, I'll share it with you guys and uh, you can feel free to elaborate on it. It does use some command line scripting, but it's not anything I think overwhelming. And I'll explain that in the, the screencast to come. But this is how I end up uh, creating folders. A lot of other designers do it by hand and that's perfectly fine. To me, I like to automate this stuff and mostly uh, keep it consistent um, because if you have more than one person working in the same folders, if they know where things are, are typically living, then, you know, so much time is saved not having to communicate to say where this file is, where this folder is, etc. So follow along. If you dig it, please like or subscribe. And here we go. All right, the actual application I'm talking about looks something like this. So it's similar to any type of Mac app you're actually already using. So Automator is useful in the sense that when you do create a new file or new project, so to speak, you can create kind of a slew of different things um, that utilize built-in scripts, functionality, and a ton of stuff actually that are just you know ready to go out of the box. You can essentially create your own workflows, uh, automations, etc., And it's just so useful. Um, to the newcomer of this app, some of it can kind of get, I guess, for lack of a better term, just hard. <laughs> I actually researched this and, and can't take full credit for what you see here, but this is essentially what I'm gonna do for my new project when I do run this app. So before I dive into Automator, let me show you how this works. I'm gonna take, double click on that app icon, which is what I made. And we can name this anything. So like uh, web crunch website or something. And my projects themselves are geared towards like creative and development workflows. So if you do anything else, you can, you know, gear them in that way. And I'll show you how to do that next. The next window is what I queued in the, the actual app to do is to ask me or the user in that mind uh, where to save this project. So I'm just going to use desktop for now. And you can't see it right now, but it created this. And essentially this is our root project folder. And inside that are all these pre-established folders that were ran when I created that script. So inside art, I have a style guide folder, which I tend to do first when I do any type of design, Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, Adobe Illustrator, PSD Sketch. Um, as you can see, I use all of those. Uh, I have another video about that if you want to check that out. And of course, there's a code folder um, and you can go deep. Like some of these folders are just basic, like they have just their root parent and that's it and some are you know have siblings and you can even create files if you want i don't do that because i you know each project is for us anyway is pretty custom so we just kind of at least start here that way my uh, colleague Alyssa and i can you know know where things are and it's just easy to find we don't have to contact each other all the time to ask where a file is or where where something was updated and so on and so forth um, this also helps us bypass using like a web-based app that already does some of this stuff for you. Since we're a small team, the fee for something like that isn't exactly in our budget. 
and it's not really necessary, I should say. So like base camp, for example, that would be ridiculous compared to what we really need. The only issue there is when a client comes in the picture and wants to collaborate, we can either invite them to a Dropbox folder, which this would live typically. I don't have it there now, but or something like that. We can share certain folders, so forth. So how did I create this? Automator. And I'm going to have this open just to reference because I don't know this like verbatim, but I'm going to create this all recreate this all with you guys just so you can see it in real time so a new application you can do a workflow a service folder action all of these things um, the one I'm going to do is application because I want to just be able to basically double click it and run the script so to, we'll start there and this is essentially where you start and the first thing you want is to be we want to ask okay what's the project called so let's do ask for text drag that over and you can just have the question here like um, what's your project called I'll do this one a little different default answer can be anything but we'll just say um, I don't know my project and we'll want to require an answer because that doesn't make sense otherwise going forward. So essentially that's that. Um, the next thing we want to do is capture value of this output. So to do that, we need to do a set value of variable. And we can create a new variable and then call it whatever you want so we'll just say new project done okay and then from there we want to say okay where should I save this project so ask for finder items and you can I mean, use the default, or you can say where should the project be saved? Or where should I create? And then you just tell it where, and we actually want it to be files and folders. I did folders for this one just because that's how I'm gonna scaffold it. If you want to do more than that and create actual files with it, you can do that too. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So then we need to set the, the variable for this. Um, this part got me, I was kind of confused on it, but it, it ends up working. So take it with a grain of salt. So we actually want to create a new one here and we'll just say start at like I did on the right. And then we'll get the value of the set variable up here. So we'll say get value of variable. And yeah, the new project. And then from here, we will run a bash script. So those new to the command line might see this and not really feel comfortable with it. And that's okay. but. Essentially, when you create a new folder by point clicking or however you do create a new folder, this stuff's running anyway. You just don't see it, uh, but it's in the background. Uh, there's different shell scripts you can use. Uh, we're going to use bash because it's basically the default for a Mac. And then make sure to set this as arguments on the right. And here you can run ty all types of stuff, but all we're going to essentially do, and this is going to vary based on what you want in your project, is use the make directory command line key and then in quotes put dollar sign one which will represent your name of your project or the actual i think either the name or no it's the um, path so wherever it's saved 
and then dollar sign two is the name of the project and that essentially creates your root folder just that script right there so going further obviously you're going to want more folders and files inside there so you can just create like i did i did an art folder um, and then just go just think in terms of folders here so keep going deeper i don't know what you guys use maybe sketch if you're a designer um, same maybe photoshop and you get the idea i think So like I said, yours will vary. I'm actually just gonna copy and paste these just to make this the same as pretty much what I have now. Okay, so that's essentially it. Um, from here, you can save this as whatever you want. So just say a new project, scaffold, I guess. I think I already have that set. So let's say project scaffold. on the desktop and by default it looks like this so it has the automator icon and you might wonder how I got this uh, in finder well first let's I'll show you let me do the whole process I have a PNG over here uh, right here that I basically made a circle of my agency's symbol, <laughs> a couple of creatives is what we're called, and then it's a transparent background. All right, guys, so I downloaded this app called Image2 Icon from the App Store. I tried, I don't know how many websites to get this to work. It worked for me yesterday, so I don't understand. But anyway, when you have your PNG, you'll use this app. I'll start from the beginning, and this is what it looks like when you launch it. Throw this in here, export, and an XCNS is what we're going for. So I'll just save that to the desktop. I already have one, but I'll do it again. This app is free, by the way, so feel free to download it. And from here, you'll want to just drag the icon into the other icon, and it should update. So now, your project scaffold app, as you see here, move these out of the way, um, are, is all set. So if you double click, it should come up with this window. You can call your project, uh, sample project, hit OK. Where should you save it? My desktop is full of crap right now, sorry. Let me do that again. So here's our sample project. Open that up. And here you go, all those folders, they're all there. So cool. So essentially that's it guys. So I'll share this with you. You can go ahead and modify it any which way you like. And uh, this, again, look, if you're not familiar with running scripts, you can look this stuff up and um, as, as well as Google more automator stuff as well. There's a ton here you can do so. I wanted to just show you how I create folders for a new project and how I automate that so I don't have to deal with it every time. It's really useful. I can just, you know, double click a button, enter some text, and it's good to go, ready to work.